Google is mind mapping software that's easy to use and also allows you to collaborate with others. The way that you use the system is you go to this website, coggle.it, and then you can press the login button. Now, our college uses sign in with Google at uh, WCG. Other colleges might use Microsoft, so you can use that link, or you can sign in with Apple. Um, you have to have either a, one of these accounts to actually get on, but it's not a problem because you can create one for free. So I'm going to click sign in with Google and use my ID, and then it brings you up with this screen here. Now, on the left hand menu, by default, it's showing you diagrams that you've created. I haven't made any yet on here. You've also got a shared with me. So anybody that shares your diagrams, uh, this is an example just here, uh, will be able to share them and you can, you can always see them here. So I'm gonna go to create by me. This is just telling you about the accounts. You can actually pay for accounts as well. And they've got a few additional features and also, you're not limited to free private diagrams. So by default, you can create up to three diagrams and they will remain private. If you create additional diagrams, they're then made public automatically. This isn't, however, a problem because once you've made the diagram, if you don't want it anymore or you just want the image, you can actually save the image and then you can delete it and add some more diagrams. So there is no real limitation. So the way that you create a diagram is by pressing on the, the green create diagram button at the top. And then it comes up and just with one grey box in the middle. So the way that you use this is you would then click on here to put in your topic. So I'll put in media and then let's press the plus button on all these sides. So if I press plus, we might have TV. We might have newspapers radio and then we'll just say film so it's chosen the colors automatically but if you do want different colors you can click the bar and then just choose a different color and it'll come up so if I go to TV here and press the plus button my colleagues say uh, proper telly uh, for the old-fashioned sort so I'm gonna put that in here Telly, and if we go to the plus button back at TV again, then we'll do maybe Netflix. Amazon Prime. And maybe then we'll do YouTube as well. OK, so you can see that these are all building up quite nicely. And what you can then do is if we click on plus on Netflix, you might then have uh, films, might have TV shows, and dramas. Okay. Now, this isn't fitting very well, but what you can do is you just click on the headings and you just drag them off where you want them to be. And if we move Netflix over here, there you go, it gives us a bit more space. So you can continuously build up on all these things, and you can change the colors on the bridges as well. So if you click on there, then you can choose a different color. Now, all of these uh, bits of text, you can actually put more things in there. So if I click on YouTube here, maybe I wanna turn that into a web link. So I just press this little web link button and then it comes up and asks me what the address is. So youtube.com. There we go. And that is now a link that people can press and it will take them off to that website. Now, also on this uh, text, what you can do is you can add pictures. I'll just put this picture up that I made a little while back. And you don't want the picture anymore, you just delete it out of the box. You can also choose here icons. We can press that and then we get a selection of icons that we can use. And so you can expand this and make this as large as you'd like. And you can just keep creating. It's a great activity for a group of students to collaborate and work together to make things. 
So how do you actually use this uh, with lots of students? Well, what you do is there's a little plus button on the top here and you just click that and then you can either um, type in an email address or maybe you've got them and you can copy and paste them in, but you can just type them here, press send, and then it's shared with that person. There are a few other buttons up the top here. Next to it, there's download. And when we choose that, we can download it as a PDF, download it as an image, and there you go. That's the, that's the, uh, the image that you can right click and save the image as. And of course, you can then put that into presentations, into uh, resources that you're gonna use. All right, the upload button here, well, that's actually for sharing. If I press that, I can set this to be public, and then I can say new link, and then this address here, you copy it, click and copy that, and then what you can do is you can choose whether that person can make a copy of your uh, mind map or not to. And you can also remove the link by pressing that button there. So once you've got a link, if I just sign on as somebody without being logged in, if I just press that, once they've got that link, there you go, that's what comes up for them. All right. So you could just share a link uh, however you want to do it. We use Google Classroom. Uh, and then people can, can see this. And of course, you can see there that the web links work. So I don't want that to be public anymore, so I'm just gonna turn, set that to no. Okay, the other buttons on here, present uh, this coggle, that makes it full screen. Press it again to minimize it. And then you've got this little button here, which gives you a history of what's happened. And you can click back at any stage and see what your diagram looked like. And that's the current version. So it's quite clever because you can actually look at the, the audit history of the, the document. This button here on the right hand side, the, the quote mark, if you press that, you can actually have a text chat. So we can put little things in here, and add them, and then people could see the messages and that's live. And also it'll record it as a history. So it's a very simple system to use and uh, it works really well with students. And what you will find is that it'll be a big hit.